Grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Dudley Weaver with a thought for the day. Digging up bones, resurrecting memories that are better left alone, is at least how I remember that line from Randy Travis's classic country song. St. Paul, sitting in a jail cell in Rome, was resurrecting memories of his own, but they were memories which he cherished. I thank my God every time I remember you, he wrote to the Christians in Philippi, praying with joy in every one of, of my prayers for all of you because of your sharing in the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work among you will bring it to completion by the day of Jesus Christ. And then he continues, It is right for me to think this way about all of you, for you hold me in your heart. For all of you share in God's grace with me, both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. They were bound to one another by a common faith and a common love. And though they were no longer together in time or space, the apostle knew their presence with him, even as he knew the Lord's presence with him in his prison cell. He was not alone. You hold me in your heart. Even so, the future was uncertain, to say the least. Paul faced the very likely possibility of a sentence of death for his proclamation of the gospel. And the church at Philippi, confronted by a hostile world and subject to the evil one's Machiavellian machinations, held to a precarious existence. What would become of them? What would become of Paul's work? There are so many things that we cannot control. The good news, though, is that it isn't all up to us. For as St. Paul assures us, I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work among you will bring it to completion on the day of Jesus Christ. It is to that hope that we hold, and with that hope that we face the future. Thank you for listening, and God bless you this day and always.